Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here, isn't it? So it's good to be at your best because I want you to enjoy this few moments that we are together and allow yourself to uh, bring in, take in, and utilize whatever information that suits you best. And if you have any questions, by all means, jot it down, uh, fill it in, and I'll be more than happy to respond to it. If I don't get to it right here, right now, I will definitely get back to you uh, at the end of this Heal Talk Tuesday. The source within you is always within you. All the answers that you need, every single answer that we want in life is truly within ourselves. So why do we use hypnosis? Why do we use hypnotherapy? Hello, dear. One of the things that I was asked is, does hypnosis or hypnotherapy work for everyone? And I want to explain, no, it does not. It works on everyone, but not for everyone. Here's the reason of why. Treating the symptom of a real problem becomes this endless goose chase, right? So in a way, your one choice away from living a different life or changing a habit or a behavior is by using a program or a tool. And what I do is coach you. I hold your hand. I guide you into that state. And I utilize life coaching, action coaching, hypnosis, NLP. Those are all what? Modalities. They are just tools. The same way as when we go to a doctor, and if it is for the eye doctor, it's the eye doctor uses these lens things to check and see if the vision if it is for an MRI, it's another tool. So each and every aspect of what I do is like opening this Mickey, uh, Felix the cat had this box and in his bag had all these tools. So it's when we use this strategy or the tools, you'll finally reach your desired goal. So how does that happen? The biggest myth is that when you are hypnotized, that you are asleep. No, you are not. You hear me, you hear everything that I say, and we have a dialogue. So in a way, yes, self-hypnosis happens. But when we have a therapist working with a client, when I work with my clients, uh, there is suggestions, yes, I hypnotize the client and I give the suggestions. But at the same time, doing the clinical hypnotherapy part is having a dialogue with a client in the state of relaxation. So we can go and treat the symptoms of a real problem when it becomes this goose chase because you never get to the source of it and you are just treating, let's say, uh, when there is a, uh, a pimple, not a pimple, but there is a pus uh, right underneath our skin. You can poke it, you can release it, but necessar does not necessarily mean that you have gone to the source of where this entire uh, microbe or the disease or if it is a skin cancer to go in and get the root of it and release it and clean it up, wash it, cleanse it, close it up and allow that, that part to heal. So think of it this way. If you had an illness, 
and that illness was creating a multiple and multitude of symptoms in your body would you address one symptom or would you address the actual illness itself most of us do so why is it that hypnosis works for some people and it doesn't for others is because there are people who truly want to make the change but when we get down to it let's say for smoking for stop smoking it's truly easy uh, we do the suggestions I get into the core of it and because smoking is a uh, some people call it uh, an addiction. Some people would call it uh, a habitual. Uh, I like to call it it's a, a mental and emotional connection, which truly all our habits are have this inner core of emotional connection to what we are holding on to. So the readiness of making that change is tapping into that core aspect of it the ones who do not make that change or make that change and then they get back to it or let's say lose the weight and then gain it back is because in the core the subconscious level of our mind inner mind there is a need we hold on to that habit eating it of course emotional eating and uh, being in front of TV that we are bombarded with all the advertising that you cannot sleep go eat open the refrigerator all the foods that are being advertised uh, what else is being advertised pharmaceutical medicine sleep uh, sleep pills pills to sleep better pills to help you with your depression pills to help you with your detox everything nowadays on the media is to give you a pill to treat the symptoms and then you are left with the core with the core reason the source of it that it's still unresolved untapped and we go from one symptom to another symptom and not realizing that we are holding on to that core reason for a reason so for weight it could be many aspects of preserving what we want safety uh, safeguarding comfort level as long as I am overweight, no one likes me, which is another aspect of I am not good enough. All of us have a reason we are holding on to, truly, from reaching their success, weight, smoking, insomnia, uh, holding on to trauma. I have a client that I will be doing a Skype session this afternoon. She came to me years and years ago. Of course, I am naming the client. And we dealt with some of the symptoms and found the core of her IBS issues. And what is IBS? Most of the time, IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome, is control issue. Either it's so tight we are holding on to, not letting it go, or when it's runny, there is an aspect of life is running out of us and we have no control of it. So we're either controlling too hard, too hard and too much, or we have absolutely no control of a parts of our life. Six years ago, she was in a relationship and that relationship was toxic and her IBS had flared up and no matter what pills what modalities she had used no matter what she had done it was not helping her 
through hypnotherapy, she's reduced it. If we say on the scale of one, being having absolutely no symptoms to 10 being flared up to a point that it's um, it's affecting daily life. She was at eight. In less than five or six sessions, she came all the way down to three and she could manage it and she could control it. Years go by, and she reached out to me just a week ago. Today, we have a Skype session. She's not here with me, and yes, I do Skypes, and she is back east. And my question to her was, what has changed in your life? Are you still journaling? Do you keep up with what is happening in your life? What is happening with the with the things that are happening in your life, you have control over your life and what has changed. She left that toxic relationship years ago. She went abroad, studied, feeling good, comes back, she is engaged, and now she is having a lot of issues. Now, is her problem, her body, we can treat it, we can go and use a lot of um, things and utilize a lot of things with the symptoms of it. But wouldn't it be better to delve back into it? And she said, I believe this time, I know what it is, but I want to do our sessions a few times so we can get to the bottom of it completely and we go to a one instead of a three. Once we make that decision, it becomes a choice. So we no longer need to hold on to all this in order of things to flare up for us to come to that fear mode. See, I truly believe that when I coach, when I work with my clients, it's raising their self-esteem. So when I feel good about myself, I know that I have control over my body, my mind, and understand the things of why I'm doing it or why I'm holding myself back. Once I have a light shining upon that, that's when I can make the change and allow myself to open my heart and expand my mind to transform my life. If we're in the dark and we're constantly treating symptoms and doing affirmations, yes, affirmations work after we have done the work. Affirmations is to reiterate what is it that we want in life. But if we constantly repeat affirmations and there is this inner voice inside that truly still does not believe. And that is why when someone comes to hypnotherapy, it's the readiness for change. It's the readiness to say, I am willing and ready to heal. So someone asked me, what made you think that you were ready. I didn't think that I was ready 20 years ago as an assistant to attorney when I was told I have to go under the knife and have surgery for the third time for the same thing that my body was creating, the ovarian cyst, over and over and had done it so many times because our body has it. Our body has cancer cells, our body has uh, the symptoms to create any kind of a disease. Stress is the number one culprit, truly, for all disease, for all anger, for all our negative behaviors. I truly believe it's stress. Finding ways to calm ourselves and moderate our own stress level is the first way to help ourselves 
find that inner peace. If I were to say, I don't have anything right here. Let me take this bottle. So imagine this bottle be an egg. What is it that we say? If I break this egg from the outside, I'm breaking if there was a little light inside and it was a raw egg, I would break this egg and destroy life internally. But if this egg were to break from the inside out, then there is a life that blossoms and comes out of the shells. And that's what we do. We tap within you so you heal and break your own shells, break your own barriers, understanding why you held on to those shells and barriers. Peel away those titles, uh, labels that we hold on to, that it safeguards us. And it has safeguards us for so long in order for us to come out truth breath. When we breathe deeply from the inside and we have this aha moment, this big breath, it's called truth breath. And for that, I want you to know that through hypnosis, we tap within when you are ready so you can break the barriers and stand up. Be confident enough to stand up for yourself. Be confident enough that this little cheek, that this little chicken, becoming the chicken so that you can grow to become all that you want, it starts from tapping inside. So always remember, when we hold and safeguard it is most often because we have been hurt, we have been tapped, and there has been scratches, sometimes even cracks. And that's why sometimes our shield becomes so strong and sturdy and harsh that we find ourselves cocooning inside. But when we cocoon ourselves inside for too long and dream about flying, then there is that discord. So how does hypnosis help? Is bringing you to that point of what I want, what I need, and what I have to do to have my need and my want meet in order for me to fly, in order for me to soar, in order for me to stand up for myself, become one. So for the person who is not ready, hypnosis or hypnotherapy may not work. Hypnosis may, suggestions, but the therapy part of going deep into that may not. But again, when we listen to something over and over, over and over, the same way when we listen to someone telling us the negative part and eventually that negative sinks in and you, we turn around and say, well, with all that negativity, how do you believe I can find that positive inside? We can turn that and do the same thing, positive affirmations vision board, looking at it, tapping inside and saying, this is what I want in my life. This is what I'm sowing for with open heart. Then we realize fear cannot stand in my way because what I want to create, what I want to be, what I am deserving and worthy to be is far stronger and powerful than the fears and the shields 
and the shell I put upon myself to safeguard myself. I no longer need to be here to talk like a baby, to act like a baby. I'm ready to grow up. I'm ready to break through. I'm ready to heal the thing. So with that, what we do is symptom. It's about time we get to the core. It's reaching to yourself. And when you get to that core of what's really going on and get that proper diagnosis like we go, you can solve and overcome all problems. And with the supreme clarity that you have, that you can see where you're going and walk the path. And that means you walk your talk and you walk the path that you dream of. So, what we do in one thing, you do it in all aspects of your life. So, if you had a fear with your weight and realize that as you heal your weight, as you drop the excess weight, not all the weight, but the excess weight, if you wanted to sleep better and you can sleep better, calmer, easier, it has a rippling effect that it helps you feel better, happier with others as much as with yourself. Sleep, good sleep all night long is also another part that the body feels rested and it's not fighting, it's not in, uh, in discord. It allows you to feel better. When you feel better about yourself, then you can make the changes that you want. It will help you emotionally, physically, mentally, personally, professionally, with family, spiritually, in every aspect. So that is what I say. Are you ready for the change? Or you just want someone to hold your hand so you can complain about it? So when the clients that come to me, I say, I am here for you. Are you ready for you? Because you do matter. Isn't it about time for you to step up and say, I matter. My dreams matter. My life matters. My relationship matters. I was talking about, I posted something um, on my private message on my private, uh, what do you call this, news feed about communication and how men and women communicate differently. And we've got a great dialogue going on because men go for the fix. Women like to dance around the fix until they feel confident enough that they can do the fix. So it's how we respond. It's how are we direct? Are we honest? Are we passive? Hypnosis, in a way, is a direct communication with our inner core and our inner self and our subconscious that is the hub, the core of all the information. You have the power to make that change. I help you, as they say, be the change. So from next month, we're going to be moving this fantastic Heal Talk Tuesdays onto Heal Within page so that my personal page becomes a way of having different dialogues so that if you have questions, if you have suggestions, we take all your questions. We have this incredible dialogue together and we move to heal within in my professional page and we have a healing talk, our suggestions, more uh, modalities that I will be bringing 
affirmations, daily affirmations that I will be bringing. And if you're interested, I would truly ask you to subscribe. Even go to my website, herewithin.com. And subscribe to getting our getting on our website and being a part of our newsletters that go out twice a month. And there is so much more that I will be bringing. But for now, I want you to know that for the last 20 years that I have been practicing, I have clients that I work with that keep coming back. I do Skype. And I answer all my emails. I answer all my calls within 24 hours. There is nothing within you that has not been there and created for you. We bypass the fears. Break the eggshells from the inside. And we say thank you to our life. No matter who's been a part of our life, they have helped us be where we are today. And today, you make the decision where you want to go. For that, I thank you for being here. Hi, Jasmine. Hello, everyone. Thank you. God bless you. I look forward to being with you next week. And may universal light surround you and protect you and shield you. And remember, it's just a light. And you can move the light no matter where you go. Because you're always protected. With that, goodbye. And let's do this. Place your hand upon your chest. Take a nice deep breath. And say, I accept and appreciate myself far more deeply than ever before. I matter. Goodbye. God bless.